There was a tweet that says AGI will be achieved using Python, but Elon Musk has his faith in Rust. To prove that, he is using Rust in XAI for all its AI infrastructure. This was mentioned in the official open source release of the Grok One's 314 billion parameter model. That's like training Godzilla, but in a language that won't leak memory. But the question is, he has a big team to build the infrastructure from scratch. But what about us? What does we have in Rust for machine learning? Meet Burn, a next generation deep learning framework built entirely in Rust. Designed from the ground up, Burn offers performance, flexibility, and portability with support for both CPU and GPU backends and a dynamic computational graph optimized by a just-in-time compiler, Burn isn't just another contender. It's a glimpse into a new era of high-performance AI. Check out this model, which is entirely running on my web browser using Burn. But there is a learning curve if someone is just starting with Rust. For that, there's Rust Coder, which is basically ChatGPT on steroids, an AI-powered learning assistant that helps developers get up to speed with Rust. AI built using Rust will teach you Rust. This reminds me of Robert Heinlein, who once said, when one teaches, to learn. The same happens with Rust Coder, which uses reinforcement learning. To, to handle this type of reinforcement learning, Rust has few good libraries. Uh, one of them is Rural, which is not very popular, but a good option for rapid development. Rust isn't stopping there. Projects like Rust BERT is bringing state-of-the-art transformer models into the ecosystem, while official libraries from Hugging Face, like the tokenizers, are actively maintained and pushing Rust's capabilities further into natural language processing. Plus, Wrap Terminal, which is a LLM-assisted compilation, is already smoothing out notoriously strict compiler errors, using LLMs to suggest fixes and boost developer productivity. All these tools are good, but developing an actual machine learning model will generally require seven steps. While the programming language plays a big role in a few areas, areas like data collection or selecting a model do not rely on the language. However, steps like clustering or data processing require libraries for efficiency. In Python, there are libraries like TensorFlow or PyTorch, which have many pre-built techniques to handle these tasks. So what about Rust? Right, TensorFlow Rust is an official bindings facility for the use of TensorFlow in Rust projects. It's not just a side project, it provides a whole lot of functionalities. Now, if you are not impressed by this, then there is an unofficial Rust binding for the C++ API of PyTorch. Both of these libraries are very useful, but if you want to use concept-specific libraries, then Rust also has a very good library collection. For example, for data structures, there's RustNum or PetGraph. For clustering, there's Linfa. For neural networks, there's CandleCore. For natural language processing, Rust has LLM chain. And for mathematical calculations, this library is very useful. So if you start building a model using Rust libraries, then there are libraries for everything. So the final question is, is Rust going to replace our old AI paradigms overnight? Not exactly. The ecosystem's younger than a TikTok influencer. But every revolutionary technology starts somewhere. But what do you think? Is Rust really the future of AI? Or is this just another overhyped tech fad? Let me know in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of technology.